Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about chaining. So chains are one of the fundamental blocks of Lang chain, and you can understand chaining as similar to how multiple components are participating in any execution, but in a particular order. So there are multiple kinds of chain, but in this video, I am going to talk about LLM chain, which takes an user input. Then it passes it to the first element in the chain, which is none other than the prompt. And then the formatted prompt is further passed to the final element in the chain. So you will get to know more about it when I will start coding. And the use case which I am going to take here is about how you can clean up your data before passing it to LLM. And this is particularly useful because we don't want to like get out of our token limits because we do have constraint on the tokens how much we can pass it to our LLM so definitely we do not want some junk input uh, to go through the LLM and it is like a normal or the very usual case wherein we need to clean up the data because there could be multiple spatial characters or let's say multiple tabs slash and new line characters and we don't want to waste even a single character due to this token limit so how can we clean this up so in this video i'm going to show you how we can pre-process our data before passing it to our llm and this entire thing we are going to execute using the chaining concept let me quickly jump on to the vs code and these are the like few packages which we need to uh, first import so first one is definitely the open ai then we need prompt template because we are going to customize our template then we need LLM chain, like I said, and then we have transform and the sequential chain. So transform chain is nothing but it is used to construct a single block of our entire execution sequence. And the sequential chain will combine all the chains which we are building. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the configuration module which I have created for myself and it is holding my API key. And let's start with the very first block of our chain. The first thing we need is we need to clean up the raw input, whatever the user is providing. We just want to clean up and particularly in this example, I'm providing an input which is having lot many new line characters, which I want to like get rid of. So this is the function which is doing using regex. And here we are construct using transform chain and it takes three parameters. The first one is the input variable, which is nothing but the user provided string or the documents or whatever you are saying so let's consider it as a text simply text and then we have the output variable which is the output of this particular function and then we are saying my transformer is nothing but the function which we have written already so these are the three parameters transform chain is going to take and this is our first block of our chain let me quickly run this and show you how it works so i am giving that girl is very fast then i'm saying three new line characters none can chase her then two two new line characters and let's follow her so after executing this particular chain uh, with this transformer function this is the output you will get so you can see that now there is only a single new line character here as well as here so this is particularly for new line but definitely you can put any logic whatever you want whatever the extra thing you want to do in order to clean up your data okay so now we have this uh, output which is nothing but the output of our first block in our chain and then we are going to pass that in the prompt so this is what we are doing here and what we are trying to achieve here is whatever uh, user is passing as an input we just want to up, say opposite out of that so let's say it is saying that girl is very fast so llm should tell me that girl is very slow or not very fast so this is what we are going to achieve here and the prompt template i am saying right opposite of this text and what is this text it is nothing but the outcome of our previous chain block and this again i am adding one more property so that you can understand that we can append as many number of properties as we want and just put it inside the input variables here so these are the two input variables for me for my prompt template and here I'm assigning this new prompt template inside the template. So this is our ultimate and the single prompt we have now. Okay, now we have the from next thing is we are going to construct our LLM. So here I'm going with the default parameters temperature is zero and my key 
and then I'm using LLM chain which takes LLM as the first parameter you can go with Azure OpenAI or you can go with OpenAI or any other LLM which it supports and then second parameter is the prompt which we constructed here in our step and the final output so this is the variable which is going to hold our final output okay so once we have these two chains ready it means the first chain was this cleaner second chain is opposite the only thing which is remaining is to combine these two chains and construct a single sequential chain so for that we are going to use sequential chain which is an offering from lang chain and it is going to take all the chains which we have constructed so these are the two chains which we have if you have more definitely you can pass it over here and then i am saying what are my input variables so the input variables we will not put all the intermediate variables but the ones which are actually the input ones so this is going to hold the string if i will scroll it up so this is the function uh, parameter which this function is taking so this is my first one and the second is nothing but the one which I have introduced in my prompt. So if you are having more, you just pass it uh, here by separating them by comma. And this is the output variable which we have just announced above. Okay, so we have our sequential ready. The only thing we need is we need to execute it. So for that, we can say chain dot run and input. So it works with the positional parameter. So you cannot simply go ahead and type this. Make sure that you are giving the proper variable names here. So I'm saying that girl is very fast, new line, new line, new line character, then no one can chase her, then double new line, let's follow her. And I want that to be in a like customized way is my childish way. Let's run it once. So this is what we have received from our large language model. That girl is very slow perfect now we are saying no one can chase her so it is saying no one can outrun her let's follow her here and the llm is saying let's not follow her in a childish way so this is how we are getting the output and this is what is expected so idea here is how you can construct multiple blocks in between and then execute all of them together with just one line of code here and it's not only about cleanup. Definitely, you can do a lot many things in between based on your business requirement. And everything will go very seamlessly. And this is what is called sequential chaining. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And make sure to give me thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the very first time. Thanks for watching.